Welcome to See Who Attended, Usage and Meeting Reports for Zoom. To access your reports, you want to go to zoom.us, click sign in, and sign in with Google. In your dashboard, click on the Reports tab on the left, and you have Usage Reports and Meeting Reports. Let's start with Usage Reports. Be aware that your reports may not show up until 30 minutes after your session has ended. So now I will search for today's session. So I've had one session today. You can see the start and end time and the duration. I can click on the export as CSV file link right here and that will just give me a list of my sessions that I have searched for here. And you will get a CSV file that downloads to your hard drive. On the right, you wanna look for the column that says participants and this is where you're gonna find the attendance. So in this case, this particular meeting had three attendees. I'm gonna click on the three and it will show me a preview of my attendees for this session. If the person joins the meeting more than one time, it will show up for each time that they have been in the meeting on this list. If I would like to merge those together, I can check show unique users, but notice it eliminates some of the data that you may want. And if when I'm ready to export, I would like the data for the meeting to be included right here, I would check that box as well. And then I click export and it downloads a CSV file. CSV files can be opened in Excel or in Google Sheets. So let's go ahead and switch over to Google Drive and I have a folder set up already and I'm just gonna drag my CSV file into Google Drive. I have my Google Drive set so that it converts automatically to Google Sheets. That setting can be found under your settings in Drive and you check convert uploaded files to Google Docs editor format. If you do not have that checked, this will still be an Excel file which you can view but you will not be able to edit without opening it in Sheets if you're in Google Drive. Let's have a look at that list. Okay, here is the spreadsheet in Google Sheets. Let me spread out the columns. You can see that the data from the preview is exactly the same in this spreadsheet. And this spreadsheet now can serve to be your attendance record. It is recommended that you create a system for organizing your attendance. In this case, I used Google Drive, I made a Zoom folder, and then I created a folder for this particular meeting. You can organize it however you want to. You may notice the file name does not contain the date, so you may want to rename the file. So now let's have a look at some of the other data that you can collect. So we're going to go back to reports and click on meeting. Again, I will filter my search results down to the day that I want. So you have two types of reports here. You have registration reports and you have poll reports. As a teacher, you're probably not going to be using the registration function in your meetings. Um, but you might need to do that if you're an administrator and you're registering family members or community members. Poll reports would be found over here, so you click on this. And so now we're going to click Generate, which will create the report. You notice that this session from today is still processing. I have not waited 30 minutes yet. So I will need to return later to run that report. I've returned to my Zoom dashboard, clicked on Reports, and now I'm going to click on Generate again. And as you can see, I have poll report data that is available now. So let's click on download. And we have our CSV file of our polls. I'm going to drag that into my meeting folder. And I'm going to rename it. And there's my poll data. I logged in from my iPhone. I did not authenticate in, so there's no user email. But if your students authenticate, you will have their district email here. And this is the name that they use when they signed in. Now, given that the question does not fit and you cannot see it, you may want to select these columns and turn on text wrapping so that you can see the question next to the response. And that's it. Your usage is where you will find your attendance and meeting is where you will find your poll and registration data.